a 26-year-old man is behind bars after fatally shooting his 20-year-old girlfriend at their home. At around 1am on Friday the 16th of June, authorities responded to the 9000 block of North Parkview Drive in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a deceased woman lying in the driveway of the property who was identified as 20-year-old Akaya Dorsey. Police said that Khalil Holmes, who was a suspect of the shooting, remained at scene and was arrested. Investigators confirmed that Khalil and Nakai were in a relationship, however it's unclear what events led up to the shooting. Khalil is charged with negligent homicide and is held at the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison with no bond set. The investigation into the matter continues. 35-year-old Marissa Rodriguez has been charged this week with murdering 66-year-old Michael Massena. On the 12th of April, Authorities went to Michael's home at 7017 Crestview Drive in Erie, Pennsylvania to complete a welfare check on him after family members reported they hadn't heard from him since the 28th of March. When officers arrived at the residence, they observed nonsensical graffiti on the walls, but no one answered when they knocked on the door and no one was found inside the home when they went in. Investigators were called back to the residence on the 13th of April to investigate a report of a woman in the attic and encountered Marissa, who said she was there to take care of Michael's cats and had not seen Michael in weeks. Michael's Cadillac was at the residence when detectives arrived, but when they returned to the residence later in the day to complete a missing persons report with members of Michael's family, the car was gone. Police issued a be on a lookout alert for the vehicle. While going through the residence during that second visit, investigators noticed a portion of carpet and padding missing from the front entry of the home. Detectives also found bleach and bleach wipes and blood on a bathroom wall. Human tissue was found in a floor vent, and blood splatter was observed on the floor and ceiling. Investigators took a closer look at the graffiti on the walls, which contained statements including, I already shot myself six times in the head, and shot the devil and burned him alive. Officers found a burn pit behind the garage of the property that was warm and contained human tissue and bones, as well as fibres that appeared to be the same as a missing carpet from the home. On the evening of the 13th of April, Marissa was found in Lilydale, New York, driving Michael's vehicle. She was arrested for the stolen vehicle and was taken into custody at the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office and extradited back to Pennsylvania. She was booked into the Erie County Prison without bond and was charged with unauthorized use of the motor vehicle. While interviewed by detectives, Marissa said she lived with Michael for two to three months at Crestview Drive, but last for him about two weeks earlier. She also made several comments about Michael being dead, but did not disclose how she knew he was dead. Investigators searched Michael's bank records as part of the investigation. Purchases made through the account included washcloths, a gas can purchased by Marissa on the 29th of March, and a chainsaw purchased by her on the 3rd of April. Detectives reviewed video footage of her making these purchases using Michael's debit card and PIN. Detectives also found an iCloud account belonging to Marissa. It contained a photo of a gun, and a video of Michael deceased with gunshot wounds to the back of his head and to his body, lying on the floor in a pool of blood at the front of the home. An examination of a Google account associated with Marissa revealed searches made on how to shoot someone, how long it takes to burn a body, and cutting a dead body with a chainsaw. On Tuesday the 13th of June, Marissa was charged with criminal homicide, aggravated assault, abuse of a corpse, access device fraud, theft by unlawful taking, identity theft, tampering with or fabricating evidence, and possession of a firearm prohibited. The investigation into the matter continues. A 33-year-old woman was fatally shot in a backyard during an argument. At around 5.50pm on Friday the 16th of June, authorities responded to a property in the 1400 block of Ridgewood Avenue in Lakewood, Ohio and reports of shots fired. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a woman with a gunshot wound to the chest in the backyard of a house. The woman was transported to the Metro Health Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office identified the victim as Anika Coleman. According to authorities, they took three people to police headquarters for questioning. Witnesses at the scene told police that the victim had been arguing with residents of the home when shots were fired. Two guns were recovered at the scene. Investigators are working to determine what the argument was about, as well as who fired the gunshots. The people who were questioned were released, and no charges are pending at this time, as investigation into the matter continues.